There is a great reward for those who can start with nothing and turn themselves into something. When you can realize that you're not a nobody just because you don't have possessions. You may not sit with artisans or may not sit with those who are aristocrats, but if you have the innate belief within that you can become something in spite of where you started, you can truly make an impact in life. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me share something with you. I do not believe that any of us have dreams that were not given to us for the purpose of accomplishing those particular dreams. Who do you need to be in this moment? What type of person do you need to be in this moment? What type of person do you need to be in order to get through this moment? What type of person do you need to be in order to properly assess and see this moment with the proper perspective and see with the proper lens, right? And so I found that interesting, man, because for most of us, we look at a situation and a circumstance and say, all right, this is how we navigate it and this is how we get through. It's not always looked at with the perspective of, all right, who do you need to be in this moment? For those of us who have a skill set or a talent that you are innately equipped with from God, you still need to have someone to disciple you in life in different areas so that you can master it. Your skill set goes with you wherever you go. There is a line that I need you to remember. Put you anywhere on God's green earth and you can triple your worth. Your talents go where you go. You don't find a brand new start by finding a better area because your problems travel with you. But also, so do your skills. Take your skill set with you wherever you go. Know that if you made it once, you can make it again. That's what life is about. The possibilities. Believing and knowing. Belief is in the mind. And knowing is in the heart. And when you bring those two together, that's a powerful combination that makes you unstoppable. If you're going through hell, keep going. I mean, why would you stop there? You might, if you're going through hell, you should keep going. Because to stop now, you in hell, right? And so I just, I've always had that mindset to, if God wakes you up again, and like every day he wakes you up, it's a sign from him that he ain't through with you. It's a sign from God that he has more to give you that you haven't received yet. So every day you wake up, I don't care what your situation is, you got to go, okay, wow, he got something else for me. Because the, day, the moment he's through with you, you ain't going to wake up. That's for real. And so as long as he woke me up, I kept saying, well, maybe today is the day. Everything that you're depending on to make you feel like you're enough is external. Right? You're trying to feel enough by someone else's approval or about what somebody else says to you, by how somebody sees you, by how someone views you, right? By how someone treats you. And I understand these things because we're a human being and we rely so much on external validation. But at the end of the day, you have to understand that just because somebody doesn't see your worth doesn't mean you're worthless. Just because somebody doesn't see your value doesn't mean you're not valuable, right? Sometimes it takes the wrong people to walk out of your life so the right people can enter your life. If you failed before, it was a lesson. Take that lesson and use it as a building block. Everyone that comes into your life can add value. Learn from them and add it to your skill set. And when you find yourself sitting there with absolutely all of your dreams manifested, you can look with pride and say, I started from the bottom, but now I'm here. Everybody that's on a mission in life to achieve a goal has a turn back moment. It's necessary that you seek out other people who think like you. 
who are growing, who have decided that they are not satisfied with where they are. See, I don't believe that the necessity that necessity is the mother invention of invention. No. Necessity, in my opinion, is not the mother of invention. Refusing to accept things the way that they are is the mother of invention. It's time for you to start walking in confidence. I didn't say cockiness or arrogance, but in confidence. What you get right now for me is confidence. I believe in me because I understand who resides in me. Listen to myself. I'm not living life feeling sorry for myself. I'm not living life living a subtle version of myself. I'm not living life in regret anymore. I'm living life being intentional. I'm living life doing purpose, breathing purpose. I'm living life meeting the greatest version of me. There's a you inside of you again that you haven't even met yet. Stop allowing that person to be a stranger. When you decide I'm not going to settle for this, this is not going to be it for my life. I deserve more than this. thing about faith. Faith is the thing that will sustain you when everything else fails. Faith is the thing that makes you want to persevere. Faith is the thing that makes you want to pursue excellence. Faith is the thing that gave you a reason to have a work ethic. Faith is the thing that made you realize you could believe in yourself, that you needed discipline, and that you could also believe that the vision given to you is something that you could bring to pass. This is how you succeed. Thank you.